Hello everyone, Dee Dee here, and today we're in Rising World. I did a little something yesterday when I really couldn't record, and well, I took some advice from a friend of mine who's also a YouTuber, The Hermit Hood. Um, he told me to make a frame with blocks and then frame it in using planks and beams. I did just that. I created a barn out of planks and beams. Using the um, planks and beams was a lot of fun. And Like you can see, I framed it out with um, blocks, but I needed a home for our horses, so I made a barn. And today, we're going to make a corral so that those horses can roam free. Number one. Let's get these, get these out of here. Uh, let's see, is there any more vegetation out here? None that I see at the moment. I'm not going to make it real, real huge, but a fairly good size. So let's go get the logs and planks that we are going to use. And we will give this a go at using planks and beams to create. A corral. All right, I was thinking number 71 for our logs and also for our planks. So let's go to no, stop spinning. You make me dizzy. There we go. And we can go over here and start building. Now I'm going to have this go from this corner all the way to this corner. I'm actually thinking, let's see, let's go, let's increase the size here. Oh wow, those get huge. Don't want it quite that big. But I'm thinking if we go here, we can block that. Oh, great. Okay, I am going to do weather, clear, just to get rid of the rain. But that's a bit tall for my liking. So, I'm going to take that down. And I'm going to shrink this, which is the left shift key and the down arrow. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go right there as a base, just to, because it blocks right here. And then I'm gonna have it go along here. And I'm going to have it go to like right about here. And the reason being is I don't want to deal with this tree. So I'm going to have this side come out. just as far and let's see there and we'll bring this side out And these don't have to be the same, so And I think right there. Now we get to play with the beams. And like I said, these are not in a perfectly straight line. So this is going to be a challenge for me. So let's take and page up. Okay. Now we want to, no, not the width. I want to lengthen it as far as possible. You know what? I'm going to take that down and I'm going to use my best friend, the control key. I want to see exactly where that's going to come on this other one. Okay, um, yeah, I am definitely going to have to put another, I'll take the control key off, I'm going to use return and lengthen that pole. Now. I'm going to go to the top of this one, push control, whoops, I said control, not arrow, click that in place, and then I'm going to bring that over, whoops, I'm going to bring it over to this other one. And there we go. 
and yeah it took me like eight hours or something like that to build this barn yesterday <laughs> Yeah, it was quite challenging. Now, if we go the opposite direction, where does it meet up with the other one? It's probably going to be above it. Yeah gonna be above it so I'll have to lengthen that one as well This takes a lot of time, but it saves so much headache. Okay. Question is, oh, that's not even in line, guys. Look at that. Okay, we release it. We are going to go to the logs, press enter. Whoops, wrong one and lengthen that pole back to the beams and go from here to here control all right we need to Is that going to line up at all? Don't know. I'm going to snap that in place and I'm going to run it down here and hope it lines up. Nope, not at all. Well, you know what? We'll move that pole. We'll lengthen this out. Because it looks like it's going to go right into that next one. And so we're going to take and use this. Pull up this and pull up this. And then we're going to go to this and we're going to go right here and we're going to press enter and there we go. You know what? We're going to have to lengthen this one as well. And probably that la that one down here too. The reason why I'm lengthening these is because of the unevenness of the ground and the ones that are really low in the ground. F2, go up a little bit. Now see, these should be okay. A few that may not. We will lengthen these. If we don't need them, we'll take them off. That one should be good. But if we don't need them, we'll take them off. That one should be alright. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the beams. We're going to land. And... Oh. 
Oops. There we go. Now we're going to line it up with that one. Snap it in place. And we're going to end up putting a lower one on there too. But that works out. It goes through at least part of the beam. So we're going to run this down. Into the next one. The whole idea is if you take your horse, set them, you know, take the saddle off and um, you can take your saddle off and then take and once you log out and log back in, your horse will wander around. Okay, it is going to totally miss this one. So we are going to move it so that it will hit. Right here. We'll do the return thing. Yeah, and that goes in there. So that'll work. Now we go back to this. Now return is off. We need to do lower ones along here as well. So I'm thinking right about here, but we want our fence to be somewhat straight. So right here, maybe uh, it needs to move over just a hair. There we go. Right about there. Snap that one in place. And we're going to move it back this way. But what I plan is not to be able to just take them out of the corral, but to go through the barn to go out. That's why I have double doors, but there's no top on that little area. It's high enough that I can get the horses through. Okay, this should be, yeah, it looks good. That's barely touching though. Let's bring it down and in. We'll bring it all the way through and we'll start it towards the next one. There we go. And this end should be good. Yeah, that end is good. Now we just need to bring it to this one and we're done with the side. Okay, what is going on? All right. Uh, 
I bring it back? For some reason it was going the other way. Now we're going to move it down. There you go. You go in the right direction now. And we're going to have it run into this one. The only thing is, I think we might actually run right into the ground here. If I had, well, I have this. I can use this. I need the grass blades anyway. So we'll go to number one. Cut back some of the grass here so we can see. Okay, it's right there. Now we're going to go back to number three. Alright, now we're going to do the return. No, not that. Return. And we'll click it there, which brings it off. Oh, it's too long. Now we need our crowbar again. Number one. We're going to do the return thing, but we need to shrink it. Not that way. This way. Now I shrunk it too much, guys. Control. That looks good. Snap it in place. Oh, pfft. yeah, right. Not. That one board was way, way off. Okay, control. Now, we'll use control and bring it all the way down and it'll connect with that one, that log. Right there. Snap it in place. And well, the side's done and the sun is setting. All right, let's go take a sleep. And then we can come back and do some more. Guys, I really appreciate the fact that you're sticking with me with learning this stuff. It has been a challenge, I shall tell you. Especially doing that barn. And trying to get things lined up the way it's supposed to be. And needless to say... It took forever for me to get the barn done. But that was a lot easier than what I'm trying to do now with um, doing the pasture and not having it set to grid or any anything. So yeah, it's been a challenge. All right, let's start with this one. And the reason why is because it's higher up. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to move it over just a little bit so that the wood is inside of the log. There we go. Snap it in place. 
And now we're going to bring it down to this other log. We'll finish this last sec this section together, guys, and then I'll finish the rest off camera because it's going to take a bit. But by the next time you see this, you will see the horses roaming around. Snap that in. I'm going to go a little bit further into the log. There we go. Now, I'm going to end it here, guys, and I will get the rest of this done. And next episode, you will see this complete. But until then, guys, if you like the video, Leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, this has been Dee Dee. Bye-bye for now.